What's up, fellas? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this thing is loud. <laughs> My name is Pete, they call me Scooby. Since I've been on the freeway for a little bit, I was like, ah, you know what? I'll probably talk about lane positioning while I'm on the highway. So, and I'll give you guys my thoughts and whatever of why I picked this lane and what am I doing in the position of this lane. So right now, I'm in the center lane of the freeway, three lane highway, and I'm off to the right hand side. And the reason for that was, this guy was way up ahead of me. So I wanted people to know that I was in this lane in case they tried to pass him. If they were stuck behind him and they wanted to pass him, I figured if I was on this side of the lane, if they looked in the rear mirror, they would see me. If I was on that side of the lane, there's probably a little bit of a chance that they wouldn't see me. And I know that what if cars come up from that side? Well, I'm always looking in my mirrors too, watching the cars behind me. And I can see that, I don't know if you can tell with all the vibration, that uh, that lane's pretty clear back there. So if it was congested, then I'd probably be in this lane right here, which I'm probably gonna go to right now. Since I got nothing to worry about on this side, So now when I'm on this lane, I stay next to the white line, right here. And the reason for that is, if you get a moron that tailgates you, and somebody wants to pass him, there's a good chance that they're gonna see me on this side of the lane. Whether if I was on this side of the lane, I know somebody tailgating me, that angle would be much harder for them to see that there's a motorcycle here. So on a slow lane, the right, the right lane, late, the lane to the far right, I like staying on the left side of it. Like that car is behind me, you can see me on both lanes. And of course, you're gonna watch out for uh, merging traffic. When that comes, you know, I don't, that, that all depends on the traffic that's going around around me. If it's pretty clear, I might just move over a lane, let them merge. But if I don't have the opportunity, I'll probably scoot over to this side of the lane to make my presence known to them. Also, you gotta watch out for uh, blind spots. So, with that being said, did you notice that on the uh, camper, I was on the right side of the lane when I was passing him? I didn't trust this one, so that's why I was watching him. I'm, I'm assuming he's got a good field of view behind him with his mirrors. So I figured if I'm closer to the right side, which is closer to him, he'll see me. And of course, you always gotta anticipate the worst. You gotta make, always gotta think that people don't see you. Just like that car, I was on this side of the lane. You know, I don't, I don't trust you can't trust these people, man. So you always got to make sure that these people, uh, you're always visible to these people. Hey, did you see what I just did there? I went to this side of the lane on merging traffic. If I was on this side of the lane, I didn't want, I didn't want them to have an excuse of being confused of which lane that I was in. Now in the middle lane, that can get tricky. Cause uh, especially when it's heavy traffic now, I don't know if you can tell that, see that behind me. If I pick, like I don't trust her. You gotta read the drivers, man. She's over there jamming. 
no, 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 Once it clears up a little, I'll get on that lane. See that girl? She's breaking. She's not paying attention. That's why I didn't trust her. She's getting too close to the car in front of her. So we got a tractor trailer coming up in front of me. So I definitely don't want to be in this lane. And you always got to look ahead. So now I know on that tractor trailer, I'm probably want to go. I'm probably going to want to stay on this side of the lane, just to make sure that he sees me and doesn't attempt a lane change or whatever. If the, you know, the, I know there's going to be slow traffic on the right, so I probably should get on this side of the lane again. Let me explain that. So, because there's a tractor trailer up ahead, people in this lane are, are going to want to scoot over. Now, if I'm on that side of the lane, maybe they won't see me. And if they don't see me and they come in, I know I got room to move. Now, I'm, I've decided to pass these cars because to me now they're, they're driving a little too slow or I'm feeling a little bit more ambitious and spunky and I want to go a little faster. <coughs> so now I'm passing these cars and See, I'm on this lane, so that these cars, in case they, this guy wants to pass that guy, they'll see me, hopefully. And then when you're passing somebody, always try to find their eyes, you know what I mean? See what they're doing, because it gives you a better idea of what's going on behind you. And if you go by them and you see them looking in a mirror, because they're going out in a blind spot, If you if you see them looking in the mirror, and anticipate them making a lane change, so again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Leave a comment, man. What do you guys think of this? Am I wrong? Am I right? What do you guys think? Like that guy, him and I made eye contact. I like that. I tap his brakes. Is he gonna make a lane change? That's an indication of a lane change. He's not putting no signals, so he probably sees me. Yep, he's got his hand on the blinker. There he goes, making a lane change. So you see what I mean? You can't just get on your lane, kick back, relax, set cruise control. I can't take my hands off the wheels. We gotta like turn. Occasionally, you can take your hands off the wheels. I just don't have cruise control. I can lock it, but I'm not. I don't like to be in control of the bike. There's no such thing as sitting back relaxing, unless you're a passenger, maybe. Hit that like button, guys. Let's get to that million subscribers by the end of this year. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I just thought of something else. <laughs> so, if you are in a spunky mood and you're passing everybody on the left, I would say don't pass them too fast. Reason being is, if for whatever reason they don't see you, <coughs> and you cut into your lane, excuse me, they, uh, you have the option of hitting your brakes. If you're going too fast and they're making a lane change, you know, good luck. <laughs>